Mr. Chairman, the table, the table on the screen shows that contrary to the claims by the President, except for the fiscal deficit, on virtually every single indicator, such as GDP growth, inflation, exchange rate, exports, eurobond interest rate, debt to GDP ratio, and so on, every single indicator, the performance of the economy in 2013 was better than 2014 and 2015. The president's argument, therefore, does not hold water, and the election petition cannot be blamed. Indeed, the Mahama government had the best eurobond rate of 7.875% in 2013, and that shows that investors in the international community had relatively more confidence in the Ghanaian economy in 2013 than in the years after. How the 2013 petition is the cause of the failure of the government is as explainable as the dwarfs in causing exchange rate depreciation. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, what is more interesting is that at the time of the election petition hearing, the president told the country that the petition had no effect on his work. In December 2013, after meeting with the Council of State in Ebri, President Mahama stated that his government will, and I quote, we will transit from the first to the second gear in 2014 after using this year to lay a very solid foundation for the economy, close quote. So he is telling us that he used the year 2013 to lay a very solid foundation for the economy. And today, he wants us to believe that what he said then was not true. In, in fact, the evidence is that for President Mahama, if you look at President Mahama and his tenure of office, that for President Mahama, since he was sworn into office after the 2012 election, 2013, the year of the election petition represents his best economic performance. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I now want to turn to the very important issue of infrastructure. Mr. Chairman, the Mahama government has touted its achievements in the last eight years in its green book in the area of infrastructure. They've built roads, water projects, hospitals, schools, and so on. The burning question, however, for most Ghanaians is that if this government has increased Ghana's debt from 9.5 billion Ghana cities to 105 billion so far, can they point to an equivalent value of projects? Unfortunately and sadly, the answer is no. The government is attempting to hoodwink Ghanaians by claiming a massive increase in infrastructure investment. Why do I say so? First, Mr. Chairman, if you sum the total cost of infrastructure expenditure undertaken by this government, this NDC government, the total cost from loans, from grants, from taxes, not just loans, loans, grants, and taxes, from 2009 to date. If you add all they have spent in infrastructure, it is less than $7 billion. <laughs> Meanwhile, the government has borrowed the equivalent, as I have shown you, of some $39 billion. So where is the rest of the money?